Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the video I get excited to do every single month and this month I actually got all three of my boxes unlike last month. Update on that soon. This is my BoxyCharm unboxing. What's in the box? If you happen to be new to my channel or you just can't remember how I do my BoxyCharm unboxings, I have a twist on how I do so many of my videos, but my BoxyCharm videos are so special to me because yes, I open the boxes, I tell you everything I got. I also do long wear tests behind the scenes and show you how it applies and even more. Yes, there's more. I go online into the reviews and let you know what actual users of these products are saying. Because what I say isn't always applicable to everybody. I have oily, combo-y skin. I know some of my babes in the audience have drier skin. I know you live in different climates, all kinds of good stuff. So I like to get as deep and investigative and thorough as I possibly can for you. Just a reminder, I have two base boxes, one that I get lovingly sent to me from BoxyCharm and one that I pay for. And it's February, so there's no Lux box this month, but I did actually get my premium box because a lot of you guys know I'm still waiting on my January box. Update on that. I had to talk to BoxyCharm's customer service. We went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. A lot of us are thinking it's because there was a product in that box that I'm wondering if it got pulled. I'm not sure what happened, but it got addressed that I think it was, was it a Saturday product? I can't remember what type of skincare it was, but the brand and BoxyCharm ended, ended up addressing something about it. So I feel like a lot of our stuff got delayed. Um, they told me this past week, like on a Tuesday or Wednesday, that it was shipping, that they were able to restock my box and send it, but guess who still hasn't received it yet? Me. So that may be an upcoming video for you. Stay tuned, hit the bell so you don't miss out on that. I'm also going to be doing a little bit more of comparisons like I did in my last video about PR versus what I pay for. I can tell you having both of the boxes next to each other, um, there's not much difference this month. Spoiler alert. So let's jump into the box I pay for because fun fact, I didn't even get my PR box first this month. I actually got my box first. So that's what I'm going to start with is the box I pay for. And I got some amazing things in there. And if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you can follow me right here. You will have seen me doing some teasers and sneak peeks behind the scenes of some wear tests of some of these awesome products. Let's get into it. If you do not know, BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup subscription with a lot of different varieties. There is a base box that is like 25 bucks a month, and then there is a premium and a luxe box where you get even higher end items. All the information will be in my description box below. These are all full size items, so let's jump in. So, here we go. First and foremost, I got something that I didn't plan to use, and um, I got duplicates. So we're actually two duplicates in a way. So let's, well, one thing at a time, Nicole, one thing at a time. Let's focus. One of the things that I have not tried because it is going to be going in a giveaway is Tula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. This is a value of $32. So I was really excited to see this because I do love the Tula brand, but... I don't really have blackheads and I was feeling like I've gotten a lot of exfoliators so I wanted to go ahead and gift this away to one of you guys. So I don't really have too much to say about that but the value on this $32, that's a good value and Tula is such a great brand. Something that I chose for my choice item is something from a brand that I have talked about here on my channel that I had no idea who they were until BoxyCharm introduced them into my life and it was for my brows. It's the Brow Bar by Rima. So when I saw there was a choice item for another brow product from them, I was like, yes, I am game to try something new from, from that brand and that line because they did really help out my brows last year. Such nice golden packaging, but it's a little too reflective with the sunlight. So I'm going to do you all a favor and open it up first. This is the Brow Bar by Rima Bombshell Brow Kit in the shade Dark. It's the shade I selected. This is a $40 brow kit. I was like, wait, what? 40 bucks? This baby has even more to it than I thought it did. So not only does it have the powders like the last kit that I did receive from, from this brand had, but they also have a cream in here, which I think the other one does too, but I'm not big into the creams. How do you guys like to use the creams in your brows? Do you just do the cream first and then the powder? Because it's definitely a lighter shade. 
and have not touched into it until just this moment. It is really creamy though. It also has a little spoolie and a little brush that I wasn't planning to use, but then I just thought, why not try? And I actually liked it. It is kind of small though. And I did not realize this was in here until I had already put some pencil in my brow, but this has a tiny little pencil to it. I thought it could be one of those like brow fillers with a little bit of like a mascara wand to it, but it's not. It's a little brow pencil that actually does pretty decent. I've only tried it like one or two times, but it's not bad. The main thing I have clearly used in here is the powders, but I was shocked also by this highlighter at the very bottom. I've used that the past two days right underneath the brow after I filled everything in. And it's a really nice shade because not all eyeshadow palettes have that nice little pop for that under the brow in the corner moment. This has done beautifully and that is what I have done the past two days with this. I love it, it's super creamy. Let me do a couple of swatches here for you. Okay, super nice and really pigmented, not too much fallout either. And that's really the problem I had with the other bar, brow bar by Rima product I had. I really felt like there was a ton of fallout every time. So I always had to like kick it off of my face so far. And maybe it's the powder, maybe it's the brush or the technique I'm using, but this one has had far less fallout so far. So it's kind of replaced the other one for me these past few days. So time will tell if I reach for this more than the other one that I have, but I've hit pan on the other one I had. Hold on. This one is always a dirty girl too. And I've mentioned that I like it, but it's so dirty and you're going to see it's dirty when I do a close up. So don't judge. You can see the absolute pan here on this, but it's all like everywhere. As far as like the powder goes, it goes, it, it's a messy girl. And I'm a messy girl, so I always have to hold this with a lot of gentle motions and like treat it with kid gloves so I don't make a mess. So far, this has been working great. Again, I've only had it for two days, so stay tuned to be subscribed, but this has definitely been something I've personally been enjoying. So I'm curious if any other babes in the audience were in love with this as much as I have been these past few days. Let's go online and find out. Katerie says, this kit is great for on the go. I wish there was a strap or something to hold the little pencil and tweezers when I'm using the little brush. It seems to apply well and stay on though. Yeah, I do. As you notice, I keep holding on to this because it is, it's everything falls out. Corey C says, nice kit. Comes with everything you need. I agree. It came with even more than I thought uh, I was getting, so I really like it. Courtney K says, this was my choice for this box, and I'm very happy with it. Arlette says, half of a heart, not even a full heart. Everybody else so far, sorry, said five hearts. Um, she said, I actually prefer my $7 NYX pencil. Kimberly S said, two hearts. This is okay. There are way better options out there for way cheaper. Probably so. But again, I didn't spend 40 bucks on it, so I'm happy to have it. This is such a great product for on the go. Where is everybody going that they're doing their eyebrows on the go? Do you do your brows? Question. I keep seeing that come up in here. Do you do your brows like in the morning train, in the morning on your way to work? How do you do your brows where you need all of this in one on the go? Do you think they mean like on a weekend travel trip or something? Or like, I'm not going anywhere, unfortunately. I wish I could go somewhere. <laughs> But for me, I'm even just thinking this is a nice all-in-one piece for even just being here in my tiny little beauty space in the morning. So I'm just curious where everybody keeps saying on the go because it has everything, but where are you going? I wanna know, do you do your brows on the morning tram, on the morning train, in the car? Where, where do you do them? Tell me. The colors are great and I love the complete set and it's in a case. This is great for traveling, says Amy. Four and a half hearts. Everybody's traveling, I'm so jealous. Everyone needs this, says Rebecca, five hearts. Love the ease of use with just learning how to do my brows. The color was a great match without looking fake, says Sandra, five hearts. That's a great endorsement. Thank you, Sandra. I don't know why I just said thank you like it's my product, but I, I agree. Okay, so everybody keeps saying the tweezers are absolute trash. I'll be honest, as you can see, the plastic applicator is still on there because I have not used them yet. Okay, do you see the little heart there on my ring finger? It's because it's Valentine's Day, the day I'm filming this, and it's the XO box, so I thought, how appropriate, right? These will probably still be my nails, though, through, like, the beginning of March. Not, not even sorry. We all need love. We all need love. But apparently these tweezers are getting no love. So let me just... Mm. These do feel much um, lighter and way easier to... Whereas this actually needs some effort. This is my normal tweezer man version. I don't have any down here right now. I shaved them off already. Ha! Huh. Keep you posted on these. Beautiful packaging. 
I love that this kit has everything to achieve great brows, including a highlighter and concealer, says Sabria, five hearts. This is kind of depending on how you feel about your brows. This is actually getting a lot of love. A lot of people are apparently traveling with this. Tell me how you do your brows in the morning. I need to know this information now because I kept hearing everybody say they can do their brows on the go. I don't have the hand steadiness or I don't know. I don't want to do my brows in public. So I'm intrigued by hearing this. Tell me, do you mean on the go, like going away for a weekend? Or do you mean like you're on the tram in the morning and that's how you get your face did? Because I'm impressed with you. I do not have that steady of a hand. Okay, I'll be honest. This next product I assumed I was not going to like. I actually almost thought about putting this in a giveaway, but it's the Valentine's theme. I was kind of going with my fingernails. These are some brushes that I just thought I should try them. And I actually really like them. I will be flat out honest though. I highly doubt I'm going to keep the packaging it came in because it's kind of pointless for me too. I'm not apparently traveling anywhere to take these. And if I do, I have a whole makeup thing I could take it with. So this is probably getting, you know, decluttered for me real quick. These are the Glamoury Pink Luxe Glitter Eye Brush Collection for $29.95. Wait, what? $29.95. That's $30. I'm not paying $30 for these. I am so glad I got them in my $25 base box though, because that was worth more than the whole box worth. <laughs> I don't think so. It's not, it's not April Fool's. It's Valentine's. I don't know. No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I use these little babies with something I got in my PR box that I will be happy to tell you about in just a little bit. These applied my eyeshadows super smooth, super easy. Now, could it be that the formula that I got for this eyeshadow palette was really, really good? Maybe so. And did I think I was going to hate that eyeshadow palette? A thousand percent. Yes. Stay tuned for that because I'm still shocked about it, but we're still going through this box. Hold on. These applied my shadows and liner because as you see, there is a liner brush in there that I did use for liner and I am loving all of these. They're really easy to use, super soft, no fallout, really, really user friendly. I honestly wasn't thinking much about them, especially when things come in like these plasticky cases that look like they could come off like just, you know, some regular dollar store thing. I didn't have many high hopes, but how adorable is this? Okay, watch. Are you ready? Are you ready? How sweet and cute is that? I mean, now you know why I had to use them, right? It's Valentine's. They go with these nails. You know what I'm saying? I liked them. Who doesn't want to spread the love all year round, right? Right. Let's see what people are saying online about them. I mean, I know that people may complain that they may seem kind of cheap because that was my first thought. And they're from a brand that I've never heard of, Glamoury. But you know, that's why I get BoxyCharm, to get out of my comfort zone and try stuff. $29.95 value does make me giggle like a lot. Cute brush set, says Lori. Four and a half hearts. Five hearts from Michelle C. Very cute design. I use very light makeup and they seem to work great for me. Despite everyone saying they are cheap, I would order if I didn't receive them in this month's box. Yeah, I, I agree with that. They're so smooth. Now keep in mind the eye look that I did today with them and yesterday and last week, I think when I was using these brushes, um, were very neutral nude looks, but I did use the liner brush for, um, a liner in a different palette that's a higher end palette that's going to be an upcoming video too again stay tuned be subscribed i have so many good things coming for you guys it's exciting but i mean these all applied everything really well and they weren't too firm or harsh on my lids and this is the time in life where i need to be more gentle with my eyes so nothing ages them nothing is you know difficult on those skin pieces all that good stuff soft and cute but not great overall says cassidy three hearts with a little sliver into the fourth Love these brushes, says Roseanne B, five hearts. Erica M gave this two hearts and said, these are a little too childish for me now that I'm in my 30s. The pouch is not very useful since it's rigid and difficult to open and close in a hurry. True, and I couldn't get them all out. You'll see that in my Instagram reel that I did do as a sneak peek behind the scenes with these brushes. The brushes are soft, at least. I wish I could opt out of brushes in my profile. So it doesn't sound like she's wanting brushes. So that's really why she gave them a low score, but she really enjoyed these. Now here's the thing, Erica, I feel you. I feel you. And I always sit here and worry, am I doing too many or using, enjoying too many things that maybe are supposed to be for a younger age demographic? Here's the thing. Variety is the spice of life and you are as young as you feel, girl. So if you like them, if you think they're cute, rock it. It's totally cool. No one's judging. I'm not judging. And if they are judging you, screw them. I feel like this, this case was doing these brushes a disservice. I feel like if they would have just come like this in some other kind of like 
thing. I feel like people wouldn't have thought it were as cheap or maybe as, cause this is a really rigid piece. I feel like this is, this is the detractor here. Not good quality wasn't something I would have purchased as Tamara. Okay, I would not have purchased them for $30. Hand to my makeup collection, definitely would never have done that. However, I'm glad I have them and I'm glad I went out of my comfort zone and tried them because I did start it out by saying I was gonna put these in a giveaway and then I just thought, why not try them? It's Valentine's, they go with your nails. It's perfect for the video, XOXO. Hello, it's the theme. Get it, I was, I judged the book by its cover, this cover. But then once I used the brushes, I liked them, I really did. Moving on, I'll stop talking about these brushes. So I can talk about something that I saw some sass about when there were some spoilers going around for this month. So I'm really really curious about what the actual reviews are for this because I've hardly ever, ever in my, how many years have I been with BoxyCharm? How long has our relationship been, Boxy? I mean, when is our anniversary even? I haven't gotten a card from you. I need to know. <sighs> Either way, I've been with BoxyCharm a long time and I got a mascara from them that I know a lot of us hated. It seemed multi-use, multi-faceted, multi-use because it had a curler on it. But so many people, when they saw this was going to be going back around in the boxes, were angry. They were like, I better not get that on my box again. I hated it because it's clumpy. And I remember thinking, okay, this mascara was clumpy. But then I remember on the back half end of its life, I loved it. And I really wanted to like get it again, but I wasn't going to spend money on it. So I was almost like, okay, if I did get a repeat, I guess I wouldn't hate getting this in my box. So here's the deal. She says without showing you the product yet, I did get this repeat and I think some people are going to be angry about it because this is that Tracy combo deal where this is a mascara that when you take off the lid, it's also, I never liked this. It's a curler. Oh, I'm doing it wrong again. I always do this wrong. It's an eyelash curler. It like just half your lashes at a time kind of thing. Wasn't my jam. I did try it, um, I think back in St. Louis when I got this. This has been a while. But it also, I think, came with an eyeliner from Tristique. And I don't think it had the combo before. I don't think it had this liner before. What color is this? I've obviously not used it because this is not my jam usually for liners. I just got a really good liner last month from Boxy. This is the Santori Black Sand. Let's just see. Ooh, really creamy. Super creamy. Um, I could see this maybe even smudging. Let's see. Yeah, I could see this smudging well if you like like a less of a harsh line look for it. Unless you don't like that, then that could be a detractor for you. Um, clearly for me, it's kind of not my favorite formula because I've not tried it on, but you know, I'm sure it's fine. We'll see the review in a second. I was mostly intrigued to get the mascara again, but I did forget it's clumpy at first. Clumpy, clumpy, clumpy. It's a lot like how my midsection feels right now in the February months. I'm not tight enough yet for the summer yet. I got to work on that. But um, it's clumpy. But it's not the worst mascara I've ever had, but I did forget that. So I'm really hoping that I love this as much as I thought I did the first time around on the back half end of its life. Today, I ended up doing um one side with my Essence favorite mascara and this side over here with the Tristique for two reasons. I got something else in my premium box that I wanted to compare, but also I wanted to see how it looked in the completed look, comparing it to one of my favorite $4.99 drugstore mascaras because this little booger is $44. Now I remember why I didn't buy it again after I ran out the last time and I was sad it was gone. $44 for this. And it's probably because it comes with a liner. I don't remember if it was that expensive by itself because this is considered a duo good vibes mascara and eye pencil. I'm really curious what people are going to say because I did find this to be clumpy when I applied it. it still fans. It still spreads. It still lifts, but still really clumpy, really clumpy. So I'm going to have to tell you to stay tuned and be subscribed for the, you know, quarterly review that I do with BoxyCharm products because really that's how we learn a lot of stuff about skincare, how makeup ages, what gets better, what gets worse. Okay. So I'm already seeing it's got only four hearts so far in an overall bracket of over 2,960 reviews. Oh boy. So let's just see. <laughs> first review from Victoria today, half of a first heart, not impressed. I was anticipating this. Caitlin L said, I like them both. Went on good and no clumping. You're sitting clump? Well, good for you, Caitlin. I'm jealous. 
Mascara is flaky and the curler is too thin to get more than five lashes at a time, says Cassidy. Yeah, that was my complaint the first time around. Um, what you have to do is really do half of your lashes, half of your lashes on each side in order to get them because it's pretty small. I have gotten this mascara in the past. Not a fan, says Anna R. I've had this in BoxyCharm before. The mascara is okay. The black eyeliner is really good. Does smudge after I go on a few hours, though. That's what I was worried about, Anna. Yeah, thank you. She gave it three hearts, the little sliver into the fourth. I love this mascara, but not a fan of the curler, says Bobby. That's how I felt, at least the first time around. I did have some clumps this time, but I'm still not hating it. I need to use it up a couple times, let it oxidize. If you are newer to that thought process with mascara, the first few applications, you really need to um, let it oxidize. Let it live its life. Let it thicken up a little bit or thin out, whatever it needs to do, because each formula is unique. And it's usually after that first week or two that you start to see how it actually does. So I'm really curious if I still love this like I used to. I wasn't too thrilled when I saw this in my box, but I gave it a try. I actually like this eyeliner a lot. Okay, the eyeliner. I am a huge mascara lover, and this rates at about a four for me, only because I don't care for the curler. It is too small to get all the lashes at once, right? Curler was not good on the mascara, but the mascara is good, and I really like the liner, says Rosa. So I'm actually seeing some love for this, and other people did get it in their box before. A lot of us aren't used to seeing a recycled product in our boxes. So that's interesting. But that was what I was meaning earlier when I did see a duplicate from something I've gotten in the past. I don't usually see that with boxy, so that shocked me. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about in the box I pay for are the Saint Lux Beauty Limited Edition Liner Duos for $40. Again, $40. I'm not gonna lie, this already feels kind of cheap. And when I did open, which one did I open? I've only used one so far, and I think it's this darker brown one. Um, these are a creamy pencil type. Um, the lid, the, the actual product popped right out when I took the lid off. It just popped out and broke. So um, the good news is, for those of you that don't know this, because there's usually a couple people that don't realize when there is a plasticky case to it, you still can sharpen it. It doesn't always look as pretty, but this can be sharpened, so I was able to use the product. Just get out any little sharpener that you have for your pencil products and that will work just fine. There's nothing special you need. And these are actually pretty creamy and I was really shocked at how well they lasted, to be honest with you. I really don't believe I would ever spend $40 on these, real talk. I was super excited to get them because what I like to do is take a more brownish tone that's got a little bit of depth to it for a shadow. Go underneath my lip and up into my cupid's bow lightly kind of higher up than you normally would for a liner and then line the rest of your lips a little bit kind of fill it in I tend to do that and then what I like to do is take more of a nude lippy fill in the lips and then put on a gloss and then you have this juicy pout that makes your lips look like you got some Kylie injections into them when you really didn't it's just a really good liner and this one lasted really well yesterday I as many of you know like to drink my water out of a wine glass to feel fancy and you always see transfer from the gloss because that's how glosses do but I kept seeing a pigment on my lips so it didn't look like it was worn down negatively and it was all because of this liner. I really thought it was creamy but not too creamy and the lastability was great. It didn't pull or tug on the lips either. It was such a bummer too that it did pop out but after I sharpened it everything's been fine so far. So stay tuned and be subscribed because I will do an update on these in a quarterly review as well but I'm enjoying these a lot so far and I like a good neutral shade because then it goes with a lot of different lip colors. The $40 value is cracking me up like I'm not buying that for $40 like this is why I have BoxyCharm because first I've never ever heard of that brand I love that BoxyCharm introduces us to indie brands I adore that this has about four and a half well, more like three and a half hearts out of about 2400 ish reviews good dark nude says Madison O. Oh, I agree I like the colors but the product doesn't seem to last very long or go on very pigmented says Katie are there multiple options going around because here this is the more terracotta reddish brown tone one. I've not used this one yet, but it looks like it's doing pretty good. The one I used was called Secret Admirer that's got this more brown tone to it. I think they're super pigmented. Super creamy. I like them a lot. Eh, not impressed, says Victoria. Three, and a, three hearts and a sliver into the fourth. Michelle B said less than one heart. Don't use lip products, but I'm sure this is great. I love the positivity there, Michelle. I love it. Love these colors, says Roseanne B. Me too. These are totally colors up my alley. 
Colors suck. They are ugly and not very pigmented. I'm sorry, Brittany. She gave this less than one heart. I, for me, they work great. Love with a ton of exclamation points. Five hearts says Bobby. The colors do not look good on me, so I really won't be using them says Tether less than a heart. Fair. These do work good for my skin tone and the way I like to do makeup. Very nice and creamy says Rosa P. I think they're creamy too, but not too creamy that they're kind of getting all over the place. I like that a lot about these. So that is everything in my personal base box. $185.95 for my personal box. So now going into my PR box. Again, this is the Tula Skincare, and I already have planned to gift away the one from my box. So I don't know if I'm going to do this in another giveaway or if I'm going to see if my husband, Adam, who loves some good skincare, wants to try this. But um, got another one of these. Also, got another one of these brushes. This is where I said, again, there's a lot of duplicates for the two base boxes. So I'm kind of feeling like... Sometimes with PR boxes versus base box, I don't know if there's much of a difference if they're just spitting out different varieties to anybody. I don't know if there's actually a plan, but I do really like these brushes. These are going to be going in the giveaway. And if you are curious, how do you enter one of Nicole's giveaways? Great question. I'm glad you asked. Check the description box below, but it's super easy. Be subscribed, comment below why you want this box, how to get in touch with you if you win this box, and for a second entry, you can go on over to my Instagram, follow me there, like and comment on the post from today about the the boxy charm and you're good to go you're set okay also another duplicate this tray steak combo with the mascara and the liner also in this giveaway and the last thing in the box that i have not tried um i kind of just got my nails done so i didn't need to ncla so rich love potion this is a cuticle oil look at the little hearts in there they match my nail so cute since I've not gotten a chance to try this yet, I'm just going to do a really quick peruse of the reviews. It's got a, almost four hearts. Smells really nice. This one will never use this, says Kendra. I have really dry cuticles, and they always look horrible. I noticed a difference in my cuticles after one use. I feel normal and not ashamed anymore. Love this product. I'm pretty positive I did receive this product before. Maybe not this version. That's like the love version with looks like hearts and glitter in it. I don't know how I feel about that. See that all falling down now? I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm thinking I might keep this one to actually try it out because, like I said, this past year my skin has really been adjusting and changing um, to a little bit drier, a little bit more combo. So I might try this. Cheryl S. said, felt good on my nail beds. Not sure why it has hearts in it, but it does smell nice to me. So this is actually getting some decent love. Said Somebody said it smells flowery. It's fine. So we'll see. But the thing that I have loved, 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 and I didn't think I would because this brand and I, I don't know what it is. We just don't get along. Wander Beauty and I, I wanted to like this several times. I feel like I know I have gotten a lot of products from them from BoxyCharm. I have gotten a skin mask, a face peel skin mask that doesn't work well for my type of skin, but my husband loves it, so I kept it. It's in our tiny bathroom. I have gotten, I think, lip pencils. I think maybe eyeliners. I've gotten a lot of variety of stuff from one. Oh, yeah, and the Mile High Mascara. A lot of you love, but for some reason, for me, it never works. But I do have a suspicion that I keep getting older product that's dried out. That could be it. Either way, I just kept getting Wander Beauty stuff, I think mostly skincare, that just hasn't worked for me. Historically on my channel, I just feel like they kind of follow me no matter what subscription box I had. I may have gotten some of it in Ipsy too, and it just never jived with any of it. So when I got this palette, I was really like not having high hopes. Thousand percent honest with you. Didn't have a lot of high hopes. This is the only thing I really like out of this PR box. Telling you straight right now. This is, this is the Wander Beauty Getaway Eye and Face Palette worth $36. This is the eyeshadow that I have been loving to rock every single morning. It is super smooth, super blendable. I used it with those brushes and I cannot believe how great everything lays down, how long everything lasts. I was completely shocked by this formula and this highlighter over here, I have loved using on my eye looks. I think it looks stunning. It complements my skin tone. Everything blends so easily. 
The blush is also really nice and you can kind of layer it up even more on the apples of the cheeks and it doesn't look too powdery or cakey and it just smooths so well over your skin. Haven't really used this highlighter on my face yet because of something else that I got that I am loving, but you know what I think I did maybe the first day or two. I did, but now I have something else that I'm, I'm obsessed with. Obsessed. But this is still really pigmented, which is why it goes great on the inner corners of my lids, on the inner corners of the tear duct, under the brow, all the good stuff. I was shocked at how much I really love this whole color story. I should just do some swatches for you. I like about the blush that it's not too pigmented that you can layer it up because I'm not too much of a blush girl. So I feel like I don't have to like apply too much and it doesn't go crazy all over me in an 80s style. Even though I think for some reason that trend is back, make that stop. I don't like that. Here's just some of the swatches that I am super impressed with this formula. I love how this wears and lays on my lids. It's super neutral, I know, but that is exactly what I have been gravitating to, as many of you know. I really enjoy this a lot, and it shocked me how much I have loved it. I love my eye look today. I went even a little bit deeper with the outside corner. You can definitely layer up. Even though there's no, like, discernible, like, super dark tone in this palette, you can still layer up some of these neutrals that are more matte, and they can still build upon themselves to show even more dimension and depth. I'm really shocked at how for, how this formula is applying. It's super blendable, super easy to work with. If you are a beginner with makeup or a makeup lover that has a ton in your collection, this formula is way better than I expected and I have loved using it. I actually even bought recently a high-end palette and if you saw on Instagram, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And for me, it's still, like, I still get torn in the morning about what to put on my eyes. Miracles happen every day, guys. It's true, it just, it just happened. This is supposed to be a $36 value too, which to be honest, now that I've had this in my collection and I've gotten to try it, I, I obviously would never have spent $36 on my own knowing how I felt about Wander Beauty before. Now, I could see how it's worth it. Amazing color, says Amy Z. I wore this the other day and I got so many compliments on my la eye look. It's very pretty and everyday light makeup is super friendly. I love it, says Lee. Pretty all in one palette. Wish it had a darker shade with the shadows, but overall it's pretty, says Kendra C. I thought that same thing too, and I almost today dipped into this just to kind of warm up that outer corner or go under the lid, just to, under the eyes just a little bit. But then I just kept building this up, and then I also went to a darker shimmer to kind of start adding more dimension and texture, and I still really like today's look a lot too. Not a huge fan of this brand, says JC. I understand. I feel you. I thought the same thing, and then I tried this. I, this may be the one thing from Wonder Beauty I like. It might be. Amber C gave this three hearts and said, leaves a lot of fallout. I've noticed all boxy palettes have a lot of fallout. Usually that could also mean there's a lot of pigment. Five hearts says Brandy, absolutely love the colors. Picks up a lot of color, beautiful shimmers. Yes, super pigmented. Like when you start putting on even just this neutral villa shade here, I get shocked at how much I get on the eye. It's just so stunning. Same with the shimmers. I feel like they do a great application. They are so pigmented, but you can also blend it out, fade it out, and it all just, the color story works together and on my skin tone so well, it's just seamless. It's going to be a great palette for everyday use, but I could also see just for an easy breezy summer glowy goddess look. Oh, I could see this being my jam. This palette is gorgeous and perfect for me, says Leah. I love neutrals. They are my go-to, so I know how to get a ton of use out of this palette. Five hearts. I agree. I'm loving it. I'm shocked I love it. I'm so happy I love it. Yay. I just do a quick tally up of the PR box, but honestly, this box, I got like one thing out of it that I was really liking. One thing out of the PR box. So let's see how much the values are. This is $159.95, whereas my box was $185. Taking into account contents and value, my base box that I pay for had a higher dollar value, $185 versus $159, and I got way more use out of stuff in my box than I am out of the PR box. So take that for what you will. I think at this point, for at least my my go round here on the YouTube internets with BoxyCharm, my paid for box is winning over the PR box this month. Maybe not every month, but this month for sure. Okay, now moving on to the premium box because I actually got it this month. Opening up the premium box. I, I was really mad about not getting my premium box for last month. And honestly, I was like, do I want to just drop the premium box for a little bit and save some money? 
And then I got this premium box and I'm so in love with so much. I can't wait to tell you. Okay, where do I start? Where do I start? I got confused on how to start my face these past few mornings since I got my premium box just at the end of this past week because everything was glowy and dewy or at least it was claiming all of these glowy dewy things. And then I was like, wait, I'm an oily skin girl. What do I do first? The chicken or the egg? What goes first? So the first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is for Solly. And for Solly and I, we don't, I keep trying them. I've never fallen in love with one of the products I bought from them or gotten from BoxyCharm with them. And I don't know if it's just because of my skin type or because I'm oily, but uh, even the blurring stuff did not work for me. Pulled my makeup off, made everything patchy, made me cry and made me hate it. So anytime I get for Solly, I'm a little apprehensive. It's kind of like Wander Beauty on a bigger budget level. This here is, this is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir 24K Moisturizing Gel Cream for $39. And yesterday I made a terrible mistake of opening this up and trying to show the camera um, the contents of the gold glitter inside of it. And it spilled all over my very expensive laptop I bought last year for um, my videos. <laughs> it's fine. I've checked it. It's fine. But I, I had a moment of, of like, ah, oh, crap. And I'll tell you why. Because there's some gold flecks in here that I'm like... What is this? What's happening? Are, are you about to break me out? Are you about to break my computer that just spilled all over it? What's happening with this? Is this even going to do anything? Is this just chunks of glitter? Is this going to be too shimmery on my oily, very big poured skin? What's happening? So I tried this first on my legs and I didn't really see anything, honestly. And then I had so much excess product all over the place yesterday because it spilled out that I was putting it on everything. I was bathing in it. I was wearing it as if it were a second skin, essentially. And again, I didn't notice it at all. I put it today on my chest. Um, this up here is highlight, but I put it down here. I don't really see much. So it's not like it's doing much, but I did do a little filming from my phone today to see like on my face. You can see gold flecks. So I'm like, is that just to feel luxurious? Is that to feel bougie? I mean, what is the purpose? I'm still not 100% sure, to be honest. I'm concerned that it's going to make my sensitive skin break out. So far, I'm on day two of trying this, and I've not had any major breakouts on the face, but <laughs> you know that can be percolating under the skin. So again, stay tuned, be subscribed, so we can find out more in an upcoming, you know, deeper dive. I'm honestly very curious what people are saying about this because it is... You know, it's it's bougie and a lot of people love Farsali products. I, I'm still like still trying to figure out if it works for my skin type. So I'm curious what other people are saying. It's not made me too shiny. Um, I was making sure because I knew I had two very dewy, glowy things in the base parts of my makeup that I did want to try for you guys and myself to know because I still like that glow from within. But, you know, I'm an oily skin girl. Am I going to die halfway through the day? I was smart enough to think ahead after putting on double glowy things and I used a matte foundation and a matte concealer that kind of spread out with a sponge and I mixed it with um, my cover girl that's a little bit more of a medium coverage just so I could still see my skin but add a little bit more you know coverage so nothing get too oily halfway through the day and I have been loving the way my skin has been looking yesterday and today I'm shocked with how good my base face looks. So I'm going to get to that second product in a minute. Hold on. But now let's go into the reviews for this Farsali product. Because I'm I'm not sure if it's honestly doing anything. Again, like I said, I put it on my body. I'm not seeing any glow with it. Um, is it just the gel? And I wasn't sure what to do first. So I did this first because it said it's a moisturizing gel. And then I did the primer. And it seems to be working fine in that order. Was okay. A little sticky, says Lisa M. Two hearts. I agree. Definitely sticky. Didn't like this at all. Not into glitters in my lotion, says Ashley H. Yeah, the bigger chunks of gold concern me. Didn't like the texture or the consistency and the gold flakes are so pointless, says Sandy H. I thought so too. She gave it three hearts. This is not getting a lot of love. Made my face feel super sticky, says Tanya. Four and a half hearts. I did feel like my face felt super sticky as well. Also, I did powder a lot knowing I was going to be using a lot of gold, like a lot of... Um, glowy products. However, I still feel like even after I started powdering down just a normal amount, it was still pretty tacky and I didn't want any of my powders like contours and bronzers to stick. So I do think it was this. Madeline H says, I already owned this. So I melted it down and sold the gold flakes to my precious dealer. What? 
Ashley Lynn said, I didn't want this, but I'm so glad that I got it. I was excited to try this brand out and I love the packaging. The product seems cool so far. I love the moisturizer, says Phoebe. I have dry skin and I am obsessed with this, says Shelby. Amanda says, I actually didn't want this. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but I don't feel like it does anything for my skin. That's where I'm at. I don't feel like it's doing anything. I put it on my legs the first day, put it on my arms, on my face. I'm not really sure what this thing is doing because it didn't even feel moisturized. It didn't feel like it was extra glowy or you couldn't really see the gold flecks that much. So I don't, I don't really get the point of this either, to be honest, but maybe after I keep using it, I will. I'm, I'm not sure. Moving on to the other product that I was super excited to try out and even though I'm an oily skin girl and I know it's like girl you're oily why would you want something that was glow I think this was my choice because of the reviews that I had looked up previously and I can't remember what the choice was with this but I ended up wanting this over the other item. This is the Rodile Soft Focus Glow Drops for $60. I'm sorry what? Again, not something I would purchase on my own. So really glad that Boxy ended up sending it to me in a premium box. It says it illuminates the complexion to achieve a lit from within glow. And as an oily skin girl, that's generally how I prefer my glow to be. So what I have done with this, and this, there's a lot of product that comes out. This dropper is almost a joke at this point. Maybe it has to get down further to make it actually usable, but there's a lot of product. So I literally use just a tiny, tiny amount two drops each cheek. Maybe there's a little stone that comes off the side here. Just work it in. Maybe put it on your skin, on your chest, your decolletage. But I put this on top of this and I don't know if it's the foundation I'm using, the fact that I use great powders or what, but again, I'm still loving the look of my makeup these past two days. Really loving it. Now, I think it's a combination of things to be fair, but it's not detracting. That is super important for me having oily skin with large pores because sometimes the illuminating products that I have received from Boxy just really accentuate my big pores, the texture, and make me look like I am a sweaty hot mess halfway through the day. Heck, not even halfway through the day. Some of them first thing in the morning. These products are not, but it's also keep in mind I use oily skin friendly products with it. So that probably helps, but I am not noticing any detractors from my makeup and I'm loving that. Let's see what people are going to say online about it. I'm curious if other people that are similar to me have enjoyed it as well. Um, the powders that I used in case you're curious, my normal CoverGirl drugstore advanced radiance, love, love, love it. Also just put on a little bit of the all nighter. And that was mostly because of the tact I was feeling from the Farsali product. So like on the face, like on the cheeks, I think it was this. So I was using a little bit more of the all nighter with a brush and then the foundations that I was using, cause I'm still figuring out how to use this thick, thick drugstore foundation I used the number seven along with my cover girl. And I'm loving how my skin looks even before I put anything else on over the top of it. Everything is going on really nice. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm just kind of like planning ahead being that I know I'm oily and what my, where my trouble spots are as far as these glowy things go. I don't want to like, just like, kick something out of the out of the running if it could still be good for me even though I got oily skin. It doesn't hold me back. Let's see. So far this is about four and a half hearts out of 11,000 reviews. So let's see. Wanda S said not for me. Rebecca D said five hearts. I love these glow drops. I use them as a primer. That's how I used it too is I used it as a primer but then I still did use a little bit of a tart pour filling just a little bit here. And that was just today. Yesterday I didn't, and I was still totally happy with how my makeup looked. Asia said five hearts. This is okay. I'm kind of on the fence about it. Again, I think it's total crap. We got a past box item in a new premium box. Was this in a previous box? Did I already declutter this? What year is it? What's happening? Did you, did we already get this? Is this kind of like the Tristique? Did we already get this? Did I get it? Did I just pass it along thinking it was glowy so I should just pass it on? I don't know what's happening. Even if I never got it in the past box, I don't want something everyone else has already received. I like this very much. Has a nice smell to it, says Juliana. I was actually surprised at how much I like these drops, says Brandy P. Five hearts. It smells amazing and really helped give an extra hydrated glow to my makeup. I didn't think I would like these, but I was wrong. Great product. I absolutely love this and I bought a backup, says Anastasia. Very sticky, not for me, was disappointing, says Lisa M. I wonder if 
they were both being sticky and that's why I needed extra powder and I'm not sure. Definitely think the Farsali was sticky. Definitely. People keep talking about the smell. It smells medicinal, smells awful. It's got a citrusy, overpowering scent. But I clearly didn't notice it enough to think of it at the time. So this is just beautiful, says Sandy H. The glow that it gives my skin is actually gorgeous and I love mixing it into my makeup and my skincare on no makeup days. Five hearts. Not overly excited about receiving this product, but I will give it a try, says Jessica. Two hearts. I'm not sure I understand how to use this product. I tried it on the back of my hand and it was very sticky, says Donna Kay. It seemed to have a very light illuminosity, so I mixed it with my base and then went on well. But it did give me a little bit of a rash. Three hearts. Well, then don't use it. If you have a rash, then you're allergic to something in it or something's not working with your chemistry with it. Um, I used this as a primer. I didn't use it as anything other than that. Something that I received that I have been using because I told you guys we're kind of like a lip balm house. This is the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Balm for $33. I just don't think I would ever spend $33 on a lip balm. I just, I don't have it in me. I'm not that cool. I'm okay with not being that cool. So I love getting stuff like that in a premium box. You know what I'm saying? For me, I have been using um, a lot of the Apple Balm and Glow lip mask that we received last month. And that is a thicker, jellier formula. And in my head, I guess I thought this would be similar. It's not. It's kind of more of a, you know, lip balm type to it that you'd get at the drugstore, but a little nicer formula. I'm liking it. It does have like a combination of like a citrus. It's got like an orangey coconut minty smell to it. It's like a weird combo. I don't hate it. I'm not obsessed with it. And it's been doing a great job for my lips, you know, when I'm kind of getting ready in the mornings because I am still putting on lip balms first thing in the morning. So not mad about this in the least. We could check out the reviews really quickly. I feel like for something like this, we don't need to waste too much time on it unless there's like a scathing review or something that's like out of this world amazing. I have a feeling it's just going to kind of be like, oh, this is a nice lip balm, but I'm never spending that much money on it ever. Out of 14,000 reviews, it has about four and a half hearts. Great balm, but I have gotten a lot of balms lately. LOL, says Ashley. I have two, but since my husband shares them with me, I don't mind getting more. I was actually excited to see more because we're going through it here. Even though we live in Florida, it was, it's been a cold start to the year. I know I'm wearing something that's Valentine's y and XOXO appropriate for the theme, but um, it has been chillier. This is awesome. I'm sad I didn't get a backup in the pop up. Smells great, says Sharon. Five hearts. I love the smell and I love the results, says Christy V. Five hearts. Smells and tastes great. Also moisturizes the lips well. Shea F. Five hearts. Wow, this is a lot of five hearts. Pricey, got it in my box, and I picked this up in an add-on at a much more reasonable price, says Anna. Five hearts. My gosh, lots of love. Love this. Love this. Five hearts. Five hearts. The whole first page is five hearts. So if you see it in a pop-up up coming near you, it's getting lots of love. I enjoy it too. Adam hasn't, hasn't complained about it, and he would let me know if he doesn't like something. Real talk. He complains. Speak enough, I'll tell you about what I got in my, my box that he's been complaining about. This is the Ren Clean Skin Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser for $32. Um, he tried this, and he's not in love. <laughs> I'm telling you now, the one thing that he has just, like, stopped in his tracks to tell me how much he liked it was that stinking Kylie Jenner foaming face cleanser. He was, he loved that. And every now, every now and again, I'm just like, all right, for your birthday, I'll get it for you. But it's expensive. And we get so much skincare from BoxyCharm as it is in this tiny little tiny house. It's to remove makeup, SPF, and pollution from your face. It does have a jelly formula. And what shocked Adam, my husband, was is you put it in your hand and you put it on dry skin. It says to use gently massage a small amount for a few minutes over dry face and closed eyes. Add warm water to emulsify and rinse thoroughly. Use with a damp sponge or cloth in circular motions to remove all traces of makeup. So I'm thinking this is more aimed at us beauty lovers that have a full face of makeup at the end of the day. Also, I just think he's picky with his skincare. I do. $32 value. It's not crazy pricey, but it's still pricier than something I would just go out and purchase on my own without actually, you know, getting it in a box like this to try, at least me personally. Let's see what people are saying online about it. I am enjoying it, but it's not 
been like the best thing I've ever had to take off my makeup, but it's definitely not the worst, but I've only used it for two days. So I kind of need more time to play with it because I've been doing very neutral looks. I haven't had like any liners or red lips on yet to give this a whirl with to see how that does. Okay, a lot of love on this too. I use this daily, says Anna D. I love this product, says Bianca P. Always need a cleanser, says Shelby M. I like this as Chelsea M. Everybody's loving the love this month. I'm, I'm obsessed with all this happiness. At first, I wasn't too excited for a skincare item, but I did, however, need a cleansing balm. So I gave this to try and I love this. I love cleansing oils and balms. They're my new favorite skincare. And this was really, really nice. Thicker consensus thicker consistency, but when you add water to rinse it, it like melts down and rinses easily away, says Angela. Five hearts. Thank you for that thorough review, Angela. I love this jelly oil cleanser. The scent is nice and I love the way it feels going on. Starts off like a thick gel and melts against your skin into an oil as it puts up all the makeup and impurities. No scrubbing needed. Leaves skin feeling extra soft, says Cara P. Five hearts. Okay, everybody's loving this. Okay, except for Myra on this first page. She gave this less than one heart. We're going from extremes here. She said, I don't like how it left my skin feeling. Well, Myra, you and my husband probably subscribe to the same kind of face things you do like. I'm gonna talk about some makeup now. I feel like we're getting a lot, of, a lot of skincare these days. Continuing to get a lot of skincare these days. So let's talk about a face product. I'm obsessed with, especially with this natural look I have going, because I told you I had on this glowy skin base underneath all of my foundations and things that I think look really nice as far as a base goes. I've got my brows going really nicely with that brow bar by Rima. That Wander Beauty eyeshadow palette has given me this gorgeous, neutral, yet glowy eye look that I'm loving. Now, Let's talk about the glow on my face that isn't from any of these products because I was so worried seeing all these things that it was going to compete with this. We got bougie packaging and it's a Laura Mercier product. So I'm super excited. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight 01. $44 MSRP. Can we just take a moment to say thank you? I wasn't sure what to think about this at first because I was like, what is it? What do I do with it? Um, it kind of reminded me, I got something, it's, it's like the Max Soft and Glow, something I had gotten from um, Sam Bam 89 from my first swap like five years ago on, when, when I started my channel here. It kind of reminded me of that look, but I've been using this as a highlighter the past two days. Look how pigmented. Look how much you pick up on your finger. Oh my golly, it's gorgeous. And I have been wearing this the past few days and I kind of build it up just a little bit more over here on the peaks of my cheekbone, I'm trying to create that illusion of high cheekbones. You know what I mean? I have been loving this. It's so beautiful and smooth. It doesn't really accent texture either, which I can really appreciate. So I'm really enjoying this. I have this on the face. I put a little bit of it in the inner corners here. So pretty. Um, I think I have it on the collarbones. Yeah, I think that's what I put on my collarbones this morning too. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Super happy to get this in the box. Didn't even know this was coming. Although I kind of got to this point in my journey and then realized, wait, Aren't there Huda palettes going around? I thought I was gonna, there's like one of three Huda palettes going around. This is when I was like kind of getting to the point that I was like, I don't, I, there definitely are varieties now in these boxes. Cause I was really expecting one of the three Huda palettes to show up and I got the Wander Beauty one from the base box, but I didn't, there was no other eyeshadow palettes in this one. So I was like, okay, made me feel a little less guilty about um spending money on the first time in a long time on an eyeshadow palette that I was excited about. That was a new release. <laughs> Man, as I'm going combing through like to get to the reviews and I'm seeing all the other products that are out there, there's a lot of products. I don't think a lot of people got this maybe because this only has 623 reviews, but it's got four and a half hearts or maybe just people haven't reviewed it as much. Best highlighting powder, says Rebecca D. Love this, says Rosanna B. I was impressed with a Laura Mercier product. I have plenty of highlighters from subscription boxes, but this will definitely be my go-to now. It's subtle, but the perfect amount of glow but she still only gave it three and a half hearts. I didn't like it, says Bianca, less than one heart. You didn't like it. Tell me why. Can I help? How did you use it? Give me the information, Bianca. I wanna help you. I love this. And it's such a high and nice brand. This was my choice item. Great color payoff and shimmer is stunning, says Leanne. Five hearts. By far my favorite highlighter. One of the best I've tried. Five hearts, says Yumi. Yami. Yumi, Yami G. Yami G. I apologize. 
I've never had a highlight powder before, so this was super fun to learn to use. Not overly bold, but just enough glow. That is how I feel. I feel like this is just like the perfect amount of glow. And you know, I don't mind glowing up to the gods. You know, I don't mind getting all blinged out. But with the natural face that I was able to get out of all of this stuff that we've been using, I just obsessed 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 all right i'll stop talking about it so i can tell you about some other stuff but i'm really enjoying this something that i'm still investigating if i'm gonna be honest with you is a kvd product historically those are kind of touch and go products for me this is a lash primer also not something i tend to gravitate to in the makeup realm this is the kvd vegan beauty epic curl vegan lash primer for 24 dollars so I've tried primers before and they've never really done much for me. So what I started to do was just kind of pull it out, see how it looked, and I'm used to it being white. I was really happy to see that this was not a white wand um, and this is more of a darker tone. So I was already kind of more impressed with that and excited to see how this would go. I can tell you when I applied this before I applied the Tracetique, Tra yeah, Tracetique, I, I always have a hard time pronouncing that. I put this on and I did notice it kind of like fanned out the lashes, kind of built them up, but I liked also it wasn't making them white. For some reason on my eyes, that white always seems to stick and makes them too thick. Um, this actually did pretty well, but it definitely dries them pretty quickly. So it felt stiffer when I went to apply my Tracetique mascara. But since this is still in its clumpy phase, I'm hoping this is just a phase and not going to be an ongoing problem. I was a little like, mm, I'm not sure how this is going to go. So why I did today was half this one is the Tristique and this one over here is my essence because I wanted to give another opportunity to try another formula that had already had a moment to live its life and I knew what I liked. They look the same to me right now. Both look identical. They don't look like one's better than the other, at least not at this moment. Nothing's really been flaking. Nothing's been falling off. So I'm going to take the good with the bad on this and I'm going to keep trying this. I'm going to assume it's kind of like a mascara where give it some more time. Don't just use it once or twice. See how it rolls for you. Give it, give it time to live its life and oxidize and do all the things it needs to do. So again, this is kind of a to be continued with me because it's not my favorite type of makeup product, but I didn't notice anything bad. So I'm willing to put in more time with this. $24 though, again, it's not a piece of makeup I normally would want to purchase. So $24 that glad I got it in a box because then I could try it out. See how I do. I know some people love eyelash primers, eyelash primers, Crystal W big fan, big, big fan. I haven't ever thought to use a lash primer, but after using this, I will never go back to applying mascara without it. Five hearts. Allie H said, this was really nice at coating my lashes and I like that it's a darker color and not white. Four and a half hearts. Same. So excited for how good my lashes are going to look, says Jessie B. Four and a half hearts. Very excited about this primer. Like that it's actually KVD and not Kat Von D. Maybe it will be a new product, says Stacey V. I didn't mean for all of that to rhyme. Four and a half hearts. Yeah, I did appreciate seeing that it was KVD because a lot of the stuff I had been getting from Boxy was still Kat Von D, which told me it was older product. I absolutely love this. I wish I would have gotten it in the pop-up, but by the time I had gotten to it, it was sold out. Wow, then that means I was doing really well then. We'll be watching for this in the future. 10 out of 10 and making my lashes look so much better with just the same mascara I've been using, says Wanda. Five hearts. I do need to mention really quickly, there were some amazing things in the pop-up. Amazing things this past time around. We're talking high-end Natasha Denona, the winner of our BoxyCharm Awards, favorite brand that we want to see more in pop-ups. BoxyCharm heard you and definitely added more in there. So I am getting some shipments. I'm excited about, I think I made two orders. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Stay tuned and be subscribed if you want to see more about what I got from BoxyCharm pop-ups, all the good things coming my way to review for you and let you know my thoughts too. Whew, friend, again, I know these are longer videos. Look at this. We're at the bottom of our water. I'm a little sad to see that there are some things I didn't get that I'm kind of like reviewing as I go through what is coming out because I never really pay much attention. What was Ofra? I just saw there was Ofra pressed banana powder. Oh, oh girl. Did you get the, the banana powder from Ofra? Did you like it? 
Tell me things. Tell me what you got because I'm so curious about some of these things. I know some of you had been messaging me going, did you get this or this? Because you were upset you didn't get it and I didn't get it either. So I'm always curious as BoxyCharm keeps evolving and growing their product lines, what did you get? What should I keep an eye out for in the BoxyCharm pop-ups? I'm so intrigued to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking in there with me through these super long but super thorough videos. I like to give you as much as I can and I totally understand if you have to watch these in chunks sometimes or if this is just your me time, your girl time, hanging out with your friends here because I love hanging out with you guys every single week. And if you happen to be new here, hi new friends, I do hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you just don't miss out on all of these fun, loud, weird, unique videos I do every single week. There will be some upcoming quarterly reviews very soon. I've got more things coming from the pop-up and my January premium box. I'm still hoping to get that. And like I said, I've been even looking into other products that are outside of BoxyCharm that are brand new releases to let you guys know more about. So be sure to be subscribed. Thank you so much. Bye, friends.